So we're going to look at WordPress. Uh, so when we're watching this back, it's what day is it? It's Tuesday, the fifth of October. So we can, uh, and we're lo we're looking at WordPress. So I'm going to try and share the screen. If I can, it's such a while since I've used, um, uh, I've used. Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten how to do stuff. Invite share screen. The big green button where it says share screen. Okay, so <coughs> here we go. I'll choose. So can you see that screen now? That should have yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. I'm gonna expand it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Leicester Stories um uh, site and it uses there's two types of WordPress. There's WordPress.com and there's WordPress.org. Uh, and WordPress.com is like a free online version, which they host, and yeah. you have much less control over it. Yeah. WordPress.org is something that you download and you host on your own servers, your own server uh, or server that you rent, and you've got yeah. much more control and you can uh, – so I I, uh, I host my own uh, websites. Yeah. Uh, so, Did you so set I, this one up yourself? <clears throat> yeah. Well, well it, when I say set it up, I, the, when I go to my – host and provider there's a button i can press in a, they have a, like a marketplace which says uh you can set up wordpress and it has the operating system and it has dedicated space within and you can do variations of the process and power and the the, the size of the uh, uh the drive that you get on your host and, and i pay for that each month so it's about works out about i think it probably works out about 30 pounds a month um to host but you can get there's other I, i'm probably paying far too much for what i what i do and i've certainly got too much space so i've got like my uh server has got 160 gigabytes of space and it's like that's way yeah. too much yeah. uh, and i can't reduce it now because it you, you can make it bigger but you can't make it smaller <laughs> so yeah. so that, so so when you're choosing the server and host and there's things like i use uh, a, a, a service provider called digital ocean um and but you need a bit of tech skills i've got a little bit of tech skills to do this to host it but amazon uh, uh services uh hosting services they're pretty good as well um yeah, yeah, yeah. but you just but need to know got, we've got a local bloke down the road and uh <coughs> and then my my son has a friend with in the leicester music scene and he he had loads of space so he said he he just does it for free Oh, cool. Cool. So, so he knows a bit more about the back end and things like that. But we're we're thinking about the content. Uh, yeah. But there is, you do have to understand a little bit about the back end just to yeah, know well, like, yeah, yeah, how yeah, puts yeah. the content yeah, in. Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. So, so I'm logged in at the moment, and and so what you've got with WordPress, you can see that you're logged in because up on the top here, uh, there's a if you can see it's it might be a bit small, but there's a, a menu bar, which is the um, the 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 uh, website. And the front page I've got this set up as if I, I haven't done any adaptation to this. It's just a standard, uh, you get it off the WordPress site, uh, a theme, uh, which allows you to kind of put it into this kind of grid formation. But there's lots of other okay. styles of blogs, some that are like, uh, you know, they're very, they, they, some of them don't change very much. Some of them are a bit more radical in their design. And you can make it look, you know, the, the, there'll be things that are better suited for, if you like, online magazines, some that are better suited to personal blogs, some that are better suited to, I don't know, video sites and things like that. So uh, mm -hmm. it's just, a, it's just a, if you like, a framework to allow you to put different types of content in there. But I'm imagining from the kind of content that we both tend to use, it's quite simple. Uh, it's, it's not very complicated. <clears throat> so you've got the, the, the dashboard, and this, I imagine this is you're familiar with this because this is how you access the view. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you've used this. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm going to minimise the screen again because it's a bit easier. Uh, I'm just gonna you, close. you haven't got Safari, have you? <clears throat> no, I'm using oh. Firefox. Uh, so I'm on a PC. Uh, so there's slight variations and differences in the way that uh, Firefox shows things as the way that uh, uh, Safari shows things, but it, it's not massively different these days. They often, you know, the web design now is is they operate across Edge and Chrome and all those those mm -hmm. browsers now. <coughs> so so we've got the the um. We've got all of the. I've I've got quite. A, I always end up putting a few plugins on here to make it uh, like clean up the database and things like that. So we can ignore most of that. 
Um, and it's got that ability to adapt and change the style and the look of the site. Uh, and again, we can forget about that because that's a bit more about hosting. Uh, so the appearance we don't need to worry about. Um, but it's it's mainly the content that we're thinking about. Now there's two ways. So if I there's two main types of content that you can post onto uh you can put up on a WordPress and that's posts and pages. And think of it this way: the, the posts are things that you want to be going up on a regular basis, like very frequently. The pages are things that will go up uh, uh, occasionally with static information in there. So yeah. if we look at visit the site, uh, so information about, so I've got here a page about the editorial standards and this doesn't change. Uh, so it's, it's fixed. Whereas the posts, if we look at the latest posts, the posts, oh, it's not showing it. Oh, <laughs> that's good. What am I doing? <laughs> it's like uh, <clears throat> the, the post, why is that not working? Latest posts. Okay. Well, that's clever, isn't it? That's why that's why people can't find stuff on the site because so let's do it via um uh this this so so the no, that's not even showing it either. Oh, I really need to now uh look back on this, don't I? Let's let's go to radio because that's should be some po here. So so the posts will be listed as the latest things that you've 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 list you you've updated on the website. So the posts are things that you post on a frequent basis. Uh, so a new story, a new article, uh, that mm. kind of thing. So let's go back to the um I can and, show you and, what and do you have a choice where you put your posts where it you you tend to I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll open up um let's okay. get um this is my decentered site up because it may, might be a bit easier <coughs> if I'm showing this. Um, so, so my posts go onto the first page. Uh, so you see all the posts listed. So the next post I put on, the next post I put on. Uh, on, on the home page, you mean? Yeah, yeah, on the home page. So this this is what's called a blog roll. Uh, so oh, nice. this is where you scroll down and all the the, the, the latest get, item. Get them all on the. Front page. On, on this one it is and you scroll down uh, and then there's other pages so i've got over 20 pages of content and the uh, newest goes at the top yeah the late the, the latest one that's been posted is at the top um mm. so it's just it's just it's a cascade down um and it's just the newest story but you can change that so you you can have uh like with the lester stories one you can have a a static page on the front so these are the latest posts. So I've set this so that it's got the latest post on the front page, but you could easily do it so that you have a static page that doesn't change. And then you can have a, a, a latest posts feed, which shows I'm going to have to get rid of this. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, the, the latest posts. Uh, so people, you've given people a choice. It just depends how you want people to access your content. Do they want to see the, the frequent updated stuff or is it, do you want to have what they call a landing page, first of all, where it tells what it's about, and then you go and find the posts that have been updated. Uh, it, it, it's you find out over time. I, I don't like to put very much thought into what I do. I just like to keep the content adding up. Um, and maybe if I was working with a team of people and we had a better idea of what this was supposed to be doing, then we might we'd change it. But at the moment, because it's it's really just me, I keep it as simple as possible. You know, I don't worry okay. about. <clears throat> but you can do stuff on the basis of, you know, you can have featured posts that come up in a in a in a in a, a banner if you like, or a, a a rolling title and things like that. So there's lots of variations within some of the themes. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you'll 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 find a theme that's right for you that suits the the kind of production that you want to do and the, the kind of uh content if you if you're not producing content very often for the website i mean it's like some people use it and they're posting you know hundreds of things go up on their their, their site every day uh mm. and others where it's very occasional you just have to make those decisions on the basis of understanding how much content you're actually delivering so <clears throat> on the dashboard if i want to edit the pages that i've posted so let's go to it's here pages 
And this is this will show you a list of all the pages that I've got um, on the site. Uh, and I've got one about community media. So if I click edit on that, uh, it'll bring up the the page. At the moment, yeah. this one's got uh, some rubbish text in there. Again, yeah. that's another. Yeah. Joe, it's such a long time yeah. since I've looked at this site properly. Off, it's not been <laughs> developed. <laughs> what, what, yes. have I, what have I been doing with myself over the summer? I thought I'd, 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 no wonder people don't you know, <laughs> wonder what it's about. Um, and it, it gives you a, a number of so when you post content to a page, uh, you're really thinking this is like the kind of content that you really don't want to change very often. You can change it, but it only updates on this page. So it's, it's you like need a, to fill that in with not rubbish, don't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What your community media is about. Yeah, yeah. And I need to write something for that. And you can do things like you can add an image to it. So if you've got your image library. Uh, yeah. And you can upload yeah. files uh, yeah. to it so that you can add a, a, an image and it becomes yeah. a fe- what they call a featured image. Yeah. Uh, on this, you can't share this with um, Twitter or, or LinkedIn or Facebook. There's no on, on a page, there's, you can't share a page, All right. um, but you can share a post. So you post to what you want to share on the Internet. Your page, you'd have to send somebody the link, the URL for that. Yeah. So the the link, uh, one of the things that you can, you, again, part of the structure of the site is diff, there's, there's some slightly different formats for the links, for the, the what they call the permalink, um, which I've set mine so it's the name of the post. So when you look for it, it's decent on this one. It's decenter.co.uk. Oh, no, sorry, leicesterstories.co.uk slash community media. Uh, that's the name, but I can edit that and change it if I need to. Um, yeah. but it's it, not very often. Um, so, uh, and the other thing that you can do is you can, um, you can put this under another, uh, like a, a, a subtopic, if you like, so that you just organize it quite well, a bit easier. Um, so you can put it under something. So if I want to do say one on community radio, or community news, I could put it as a subtopic of community media. Uh, it doesn't make much difference whether you do that. And the other thing you can do is uh, you can uh, you can change it so that the um, depending on the um, uh, the the theme, you can make it so it doesn't show the sidebar at the side where it's got the Twitter feed and things like that. That was that was on the front. Um, oop, right, okay, it's, it's, it's spotted all the spelling <laughs> that doesn't exist. <clears throat> so the other one is is the post. So the posts and the, the the way to think about it is have very few pages. Mi- the minimum number of pages you can get away with to give the core information about the project or the site or whatever but with the uh posts you can have as many of them as you like they just keep the more of them the better they just keep flowing uh and you can get people to write them and add to them and things like that and uh Mm -hmm. so the more posts the better yeah so a post if i if i so have you got people that will write posts for you now um (laughs) No, not really, not yet. <laughs> this is the problem, you know. It's like um, it's, it's how do you get people to want to volunteer, or you, you, you I think you, in the end, you really got to pay people to to do it. So, um, I'm, I'm not convinced that um, people are. Well, maybe it's me. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, maybe, but at the moment, it's it's kind of kind of just me posting stuff but if we get some funding for a project where we train people up to do this then yeah and i've 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 done that in the past where there's a couple of people have have added content uh but it's a yeah, go. roy's roy put one up um a while ago mm-hmm. um, so one thing you can do with the posts is you can schedule them so uh these are the posts that i've put up for the radio programs uh they're going up on on the on the uh, thing, but the the episode two has already been posted, and it says when it was published. Uh, episode three is scheduled for next week to be released. 
so you can schedule that on when you when you set up the post. I'll show you so show you how to put on and um, build back better better episode one. What's <laughs> episode one was published on the the last uh, Monday, the twenty seventh of September. Yeah. And I scheduled it for seven a.m. to be posted, and it automatically then puts it out onto the internet, so you can delay. You can write it and then delay. So if you wanted to coincide it with the release of the paper version of the Echo, then it would come out on the day that the Echo is released, that kind of thing. So you can write it well in advance. And what you do, I'll show you, I'll go to this one, edit. So this is what the the post looks like. Um, and you've got a couple of settings. So you've got your title, you've got your, your permalink uh, with the name of the, the, the title. Then you got text, um, a link to some content, uh, and you've got a link to the audio so people can play the audio. And then I've got some images from the the logos from the radio stations, uh, and then also uh, an image, a featured image, which comes up on the website. Um, and then <clears throat> there's, that's where it was published on, um, and you can you can change that. So when you when you set up your post to create your post you can set the publishing date you can either do it immediately uh, or you can do it later on or you if you've published something in advance and you want to change it you can do as well so it makes it look as if it was published at a different time or a different date you can do that mm -hmm. uh, and also you can and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do this in a second i'll i'll, I'll do a dummy post that we we, we don't need to post online but mm -hmm. i mean you've you've used have you used all just Double oh, yeah. check. Yeah, you've used it. Okay, so it's good. So, so you know, and you can put your, your Twitter feed. Yeah, have the choice to put it under whichever we want to put it under, like you have. Really. Yes. You so, so, yeah. so the trick, the, the trick with categories, as you can see, I've actually now got quite a few categories, and I think the best thing to do is have very few categories. Oh, keep it very, yeah, keep categories really limited. You don't need lots of categories. It's just news or updates. Or yeah, volunteers, news. yeah. We, we've got news featured and um, and and the other one is, um, uh, oh, uh, um, projects or campaigns. Yeah. I'd, I'd just keep it as the fewer the better. But what you can do is you can uh, have as many tags as you like. So the tags, you can have hundreds of tags. So you could have yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the names. I, that kind of thing. I, I thought that it would be better to have only put one tag up at a time. Not no, do it, do it the other do it the other way. One category. Uh, or I mean you can do a couple of different categories if they if they overlap, but very few categories, because what you're doing with the categories is you're organizing the content into different types of content. The yeah. tags you use to relate to the subject of what it's about. So if it's about gardens, Evington, um, spring, uh, volunteers, you don't want a separate category for all of them. They might not be relevant, but you can have as many tags as you like because it just helps people to search for that content. But but if you just put something like volunteers, then if they're using um, <coughs> if they're searching on the internet, I mean, the, that, that it's not specific enough, is it? Well, just use more tags. The more tags you add, the more likely it it, it works with the the search so engine. Have, so I tend to put Evington a lot. Yeah, Evington volunteers, Evington. Yeah, so you can do that, but do that with the tags rather than with the categories. Yeah, yeah. So the, so the so so the reason that that you do that is the category. So if I go to uh, with categories, uh, pages, posts, so. You can organize your content around different categories of types of content. Um, and they, these aren't really related to the topics of content. They're related to the types of content. So if you want somebody to find, let's open this another time. If you want somebody to find, so what I've done here, I've created a menu with the different types of media. So radio is a category i've set it as a category um and 
So it's easy to find. So if I hit build back better, all of the things that are related to build back better come up in the category, what's called a category feed. Yeah. Uh, so you have, can have organize you the content. On your, on Say our, that again, sorry. Have you got a search button on the top? Yes, just there. Oh, that's your search. That's right? different, yes. Yeah, each, each theme is going to be different. Uh, but the underlying core principle of the... The, the, the categories and the tags is the same, the pages and the post. Whatever WordPress site you use, that's what they're all based on. It's a database basically to, to manage that, the, the, that information. So uh, I, I tend to use, so if I go to radio, there's a bit more content on here that's been uh, uh, produced for, you know, we want people who on the radio stations to just click on radio and find all the content that we've got on radio, regardless of the topic. So it's, it's the, the type of content that they're getting here uh, rather than the topic. Uh, mm -hmm. But you can do it so that um, it's not displaying the tags. So if I go on to this post, <clears throat> so there are tags. Where are the tags? I keep, I keep going down, I imagine. Oh. Huh. Well, it's not showing. Oh, there we go. Tags. So I've got a tag cloud. Uh, so build back better, build back together, build back, be building back better. These are all variations of the, of, you don't want hundreds of categories saying these variations. Mm -hmm. uh, there was the event, the celebrating similarities event. So I put that as a, mm -hmm. as a tag. And so somebody can find it from, from the tag. So you can do a search related to tags uh, or, so let's see. That's another good one. So, uh, so you haven't got a write-up for that yet, for the celebrating our similarities. I just did a basic write-up and put the. I'm very lazy when it comes to writing up. I put the the radio, the audio in there, which is this, and then I put a very simple, um, very simple write-up. Oh, on I there. see. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't think people will read it really. On no, I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it goes out as a podcast and, uh, you know, listen to it. That's my view. It's like it, it, I could spend time writing it, but I'm not, yeah. I'm not just, just not drawn to it. If somebody else wanted to do lots of more text-based stuff that you read, you know, that, that would be great to have somebody, somebody do that. And maybe I should do more of a write-up. I'm just not, um, uh, it's no, like, a, no, I think you're right, really. I think yeah. Because it go, you know, it goes it, it, using as many other other platforms as we can as well. Um, so let's see, is that so, so? When you were at that event, you were take you took a video of her starting it off. Aud audio. I took a you few pictures. Audio. Of yeah, that. I took. I'd meet my audio recorder, and I spoke to a couple of people. Um, let me play it, and then. Um, so, um, I just want to find this share sound. So, if I press play, hi, I'm Manjeet Rai, and I'm the founder and director of Buddhi, uh, and we run um, emotional, uh, mental health, and physical well-being sessions uh, for all ages. Um, so that could you hear that then? No, yeah. yeah. Very good. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Yeah, so that that was about. I got. I managed to get about eight minutes. Uh, it wasn't very well organised. I didn't speak to any of the the main organisers. Um, so you know, it's kind of because I, I, I was there at short notice and and I had to dash off. I didn't really get, and they weren't really focused on being available to speak uh, beforehand uh, about it because they were they were setting up. Uh, but I'm, I'm a firm believer in you get what you get. The, the, another one that I did for um, the, y the, the Leicester Y Theatre uh, was quite a good one. Uh, um, so my name's Ame Madakri. Um, I'm 20 years old and today we are at the Y Theatre and we have a event about podcasting. Um, we've got some arcade games around here. We've got about 10 different games that we're going to be looking at.
all of the games are very much old style victorian there we go so it's just <clears throat> I, my, I collected a lot of sounds and i was talking to this that one went on for nearly half an hour so uh there's a bit more content on there that can be but again i just get you know, the, a very basic write-up uh some photos uh mm-hmm. and 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 the audio file um mm-hmm. Now the, the audio file I've, I've, the site is linked to uh, what's called a po- podcast aggregator. Mm-hmm. So I've got a plugin on the site which en- enables when I do a post. So let's go to the dashboard. Works there because just then once I've got once I've uploaded the audio file uh, to uh, my server i can take a copy of the link the url for that audio file and post it in uh here uh and then it will uh automatically then connect to i've set it so it'll automatically connect to itunes and google and i think amazon music and a couple of other services uh, as long as i click podcasts on the category uh, then it will take the feed. It will take that, and it will post. It will reshare that onto the internet, um, so people can download it. You, you can download it on your phone then. Um, mm. and, and you're not worried about people downloading what you've done. <clears throat> no, it's I, I use what's called a Creative Commons license. Let me stop share for. I can have to go back to the screen. So I, I use a Creative Commons. Uh, license which is uh, attri- it's called attribution share alike non-commercial mm-hmm. use I think it's number four they have a, a set of licenses nobody can use anything if you're using it for educational purposes or purely personal purposes mm-hmm. I'm fine I'm giving this stuff away if you know Sky News wants to use it or the BBC they're going to have to pay for it um, which is, you know, which is standard. They would do um, uh, as much as they possibly could. If somebody else wants to come around and take a sample, say I got an interview with a famous celebrity or something, and somebody else wants to play it out uh, or, or write it up and put it in a book or something, mm-hmm. they'd have to ask permission to use that. That's not part of the Creative Commons agreement. Uh, but if you if you wanted to take stuff because you're a community uh, focused newspaper. Feel free. I'm very. That's what the the platform's for. I'm very happy for people to to reuse the content and to you know to 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 write it up as a different article. I'd like that relationship. You know that yeah uh, share alike relationship. That's 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 how we'll we'll do stuff. I think. Yeah. 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 So I could do some more work on that on the um on that event i went all day to yeah 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 just have a listen to the content that's on there and if any of it fits in that fills in some of the gaps uh just 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 you know usually what you do is you just put you know you say thanks to lesson yeah. stories for some yeah. additional content and you know you just have a little link on the post or something that, you know that's that's fine i'm i'm very happy with that that's 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 that trust thing that you get with community media it's you know let's yeah yeah you know, let's collaborate in that way. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I saw Les, Lester, Ray, um, Lester Mercury, I mean, one stage they just said, just acknowledge it if you do take yeah. something. But yeah. there's only the occasional picture. If you were making loads of money, you know, if, if you were making a profit, they'd ask. Um, <laughs> and some people as individuals say they're an artist or, you know, a, a musician or something like that, and they don't want to share their content then you know but but most people mo- mo- stuff like this a public event mm. i would say you know take you can re you can re put it into a different version just as long as you acknowledge the source you know it's like yeah. anything i mean you read the newspapers now and they're full of <laughs> boris johnson was interviewed on sky news and the guardian writes it up uh you know they're not paying for that they're just you know re- re- yeah rehashing it as long as they don't there's just do the whole interview verbatim from what he said, then, you know, it's, um, it's, they're not just rehashing the interview and passing it off as their own. Mm. Um, you know, the, there are rights issues about it, but for community media, I think it's, you know, I, I work on the basis that it's trust and it's do, if you're doing it for not for profit, for the public good, I'm mm. happy for you to 
reuse it and take the audio and do stuff with it if you want, but mm-hmm. just give us an acknowledgement for it. That's 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 more than happy. And if they're not sure, they can get in contact. Nobody ever has. <laughs> I think you know, no nobody ever wants to. You know, it's like it's 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 you don't get that much attention. You know, so. Uh, the other thing that when you do posts is yes, yeah, the sharing onto that's useful. That you what you can build into uh, uh, WordPress is the links to your your other your social media platform. So a post can go up to Instagram, or a post can go up to yes, yes, uh, to, to to Twitter, uh, just to let people know that there's a new article there. Um, mm. That's quite useful. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to redo those links. I think I've I haven't really got got on top of Instagram yet. No, and and a lot of it can feel quite sterile. Um, I don't use it a lot um, because I, I find you don't necessarily get the um, the feedback that you maybe expect that you would. I think they're very arm's length. People don't really engage that much i think a lot of the mass media stuff that people are you know are, are, are where they've got hundreds and thousands of followers uh, yeah. that's that's a very different way of doing things but you know it's it's if you've got a small group of supporters and they can retweet stuff so you just it, one of the things is about um fostering a little network of people who are supporters who will also do that resharing that's that's actually a really easy thing to ask your supporters to do yeah it's like can you share this yeah. um you know we but want people I, to see I was it. quite shocked that i didn't expect to pick up my cousins on it all oh, right okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> well it's run by facebook now so they probably know they gather information from facebook if you use facebook so they've got no, you know they weren't on facebook all oh, right they just picked me up on Instagram. Wow. Is- okay. Well, that's the that that's the tentacles of Facebook that are extending out amongst the population. And people last night with with it went down. Facebook and Instagram mm-hmm. and WhatsApp mm-hmm. weren't available. It was like panic. You know. Oh, we 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 can't. Well, everybody then started using Twitter again. And uh, but it, for me, it's it's like the. I think it's about the. Um, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm no good at this. I don't think. I think. Some, how do you engage people in a conversation? Um, it's very difficult. Um, you kind of have to. There's a lot of position taken, so it's good for politics. Um, certainly, Twitter is like that. You know, people on Twitter say this is wrong or this is what we should be doing. And when you you can't have that dialogue where you say what do you think about this? How do you how do you think this works? Mm-hmm. Um, because I think people have an ex- an expectation that you're going to use, uh, you know, the social media in a way which is very narrow and formulaic. Mm-hmm. Um, Instagram, it, you have to be a bit more creative about the kind of posts that you share. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I tend to I, I tend to kind of on my personal Twitter uh, uh, Instagram is to is to just do you know, photography that doesn't really explain what it's about it's it's like vignettes or you know kind of little small observations rather than me i used to do a lot where i was doing a lot of selfies and showing myself and i've kind of stopped doing that now it becomes more about um stuff that i see as i travel around mm-hmm. like a photo gallery um, rather than it being a conversation with other people, it stopped being that conversation with others. Uh, because the thing that they've introduced into Instagram, which I think has ruined it, is the, this thing called Reels, uh, where it's a lot, lot like TikTok, uh, which is about performance. So it's about people doing dance routines or gymnastics or you know crazy stunts or whatever it is. Whereas this is a bit more. You know, Instagram used to be about, hey, look at my very arty photograph mm-hmm. uh, or my arty beard photographed very interestingly, that kind of thing. Whereas this is kind of, um, you know, the, 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 it's, it's gone a bit flat, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the worst thing is I find is that when people use it as a kind of promotional tool, as if it's a marketing uh, uh, activity. So what they do is they put, uh, I mean, I've I've done it with the, with this, with the with the drop in, and I'll keep doing it each week. Uh, let's see if we 
uh, hang on, uh, where are we? Um, so the Instagram for the decentered media one, I've just started dropping in. Um, it's just not very interesting, you know. These kind of, oh, I'm not sharing the screen. Let me share the screen. <laughs> Asking you to look at something and you can't see it. <laughs> there we go. So this is this is that my Instagram feed for the the decentered media one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I did some photos over the summer, but not very many. Um, but you know, it's like I th- I think it's you, what you're trying to do is show something in action. Uh, mm-hmm. So when people visit the the feed, they get a sense of what you're about, of what you're doing, not mm-hmm. just what you're copying from other people and if you can make it as unique to yourself um then it, it's it's you know people maybe get a better sense of what it's i don't know though you know so yeah, I, I, you know, it, it's not i'm not really very good at using it um in that way yeah. twitter's twitter's a bit easier because you can put more random stuff onto twitter and nobody seems bothered uh, but then I, I I don't get very many likes, um, very many very many um, followers. <clears throat> you know, it's quite limited. So I think you've got to use it strategically. I'm not I'm not aiming for popularity. No, no. We still recover. Yeah, press stop.